All right, for starters, we've got this fabulous table, and our thought process is that we're going to do some kind of art on top. It's like the perfect canvas, whether that'll be painting or a mosaic, most likely a mosaic because it does have like holes and stuff in it. So if we were gonna try to go the, the painting route, we'd have to like get a new top for the top and eh, probably not. So most likely a mosaic. How cool is that? Um, what I'm wondering is if we can turn it into an outside table, like what process do we need to go through to protect it so that it could be an outside table because the reality is we have no room for this in our house. You guys know we have a very small house that there's just no room for some random table. So uh, ideas, please, suggestions of how to make it outdoor safe weatherproof <laughs> you know what i mean anyway then there's also the plant stakes these metal plant stakes that is super awesome and this fabulous office chair which we're going to deep clean and then it's going to go in our office we needed a new office chair anyway so that is so perfect there's also this bucket that i'm just going to have out here for um, garden waste things that we'll just toss onto the back porch and then when there's a little more in there or when we can't stand it anymore, then we will of course take it out to the mulch. I think it's perfect for that. I do wish it had a lid because obviously it came with a lid and had like latches and whatnot, but we didn't see a lid in there. So we'll still get use out of it. It does have a crack in the bottom, but I'm actually totally okay with that because if it rains and there's stuff in it, uh, at least then it'll hopefully mostly drain. So, hey, being broken was a good thing on this one. <laughs> and of course there's the pogo stick that we found yeah and also a helmet that we found yep it's technically and bad, then I stole it. shoes whoa okay. you okay Mimi shoes yeah, like that dumpster diving paid for well YouTube and dumpster diving show them yeah much better than the old ones huh yeah. go ahead and now I have two pairs of basketball shoes my other ones don't fit me they're completely black but these ones look nice. Very sharp. All right, show us your moves. Don't do anything there, Raven. Man, I wish I could do that. We're gonna oil it so that it uh, isn't so squeaky. Yeah, it's a little a little squeaky. You imagine when we oil it, how bouncy it'll be. I can now go backwards. Let's see. Might have to go first. Here we go. <laughs> so as I've told you guys many times, it's not always about finding the like super expensive, exciting stuff. Sometimes it's finding stuff that you just need and would have had to buy. For instance, cleaning supplies, mirror glaze. I've never heard of mirror glaze. Hmm. Uh, carpet freshener. What else do we have here? Orange glow wipes. Clean shower. More clean shower. Turtle wax. Liquid plumber. Hand sanitizer. Uh, polish. Glass wax. What is that? Glass and metal cleaner. Oh, I'm going to give that a try. Hmm. I actually have some silver. I wonder if that would work on silver. Well, yeah, it does. So that was right there. Silver. Okay. Yeah, I've got like some silver uh, jewelry and whatnot. Actually, some of it's from the bins too. Hmm. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Could that work on there? And then it's got like, what are these? Some kind of stencils. I don't know what that's about, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, fruit and vegetable insect spray. That's fantastic. Some lamp oil, a uh, dirt devil vacuum bag. Oh, there's also... Um, a hose, a vacuum, or no, not a hose, a belt, a vacuum belt. Then this is really cool. We're going to try this out. It's a uh, cellu clay instant paper mache. I've always wanted to do a paper mache and I've never done it. So there you go. Um, in fact, I was just talking to Cynthia at Diving with Purpose about that like a month or two ago when she was making uh, the one for like the gender reveal. Anyway, the pinata, maybe I'll be making one. 
Ooh, it's windy out here. Hopefully the canopy stays up. We've got cups, dinnerware. It's like a whole box of plasticware. Some spoons, cups, uh, fabric, black fabric, which Olivia is really excited about because she's been doing a lot of sewing and crafting and stuff like that lately. There is this super old school like vanity waste basket. Most people would not get excited about that. I am. <laughs> I do get excited about things that generally people don't, but that is going to be a planter. Yes. Yes, it is. It even has like little nubs on the bottom to, I'm not going to touch it right now. I don't have gloves on and it's got to be cleaned, but <clears throat> anyway, it's going to make a fabulous planter. There is a hanging file organizer, the win, loser, draw. It does have all the pieces, which I could not believe. Yeah, it's old. I don't care. We're going to play it. Some study cards for spelling and vocabulary. And then this is cool. The tracing borders. Yeah, it's got all the just borders, but look, there's all these stencil things too. That I was not expecting. All different. Like, look how fun these are. Kids are going to have a great time with these. Yep. Ooh, a spider. Right on. Anyway, so yeah, those, we'll let the kids play with them, have fun with them, and they might end up in the yard sale, but definitely not right away. This bag just has carpet. That's going to go out uh, as weed suppressant in, speaking of weeds, geez, um, <laughs> as weed suppressant out in my garden. There are all the hoses and pieces that you guys uh, informed me go to a CPAP machine. There's even this thing. Now the problem with these, yes, I would like to sell them, but eBay gets tricky. You have to have like a license or, or be, I don't know, have some special designation to be able to sell medical equipment. So I'm just gonna have to put them on like Facebook Marketplace or something like that. I'll, I'll put them up if anyone offers, great. If not, then I'll offer them out for free because otherwise I don't know what to do with them. There is the polyfill, which I actually will probably uh, use as webbing for Halloween. These are more assorted pieces that go with the, like there's this like squishy pad and stuff. These all go with the CPAP. There's the paint stir sticks, which actually we're gonna be doing some painting soon, so that's fabulous. Um, ace bandage, more pieces that go to the CPAP. Then there's the toys. Look at that, that's awesome. That is so cool. Yeah, come on now. Um, we got the O'Malley cat. <clears throat> Uh, Flintstones. I can't remember. Oh, Babs does. Says it right there. Ask Babs. I don't know what her name is. No, it's right there. Look how cute that little horse is. Random stuff, binders, the memory switch, like uh, software, and then some clippers. And we're going to try those out. We're going to see if they work. So stay tuned. Um, and then all the attachments, the comb, all the like clippy things that go with that. And then there's these pictures. So they obviously had a huge, I mean, look at this stack, a huge uh, collection of nativity sets. So I'm going to lay some of these out and we'll just look at some of them. So of course, what I want to know is what happened to all the nativity sets? My guess is this is um, a situation where someone passed away. It was a relative, an older relative and all of their stuff. I mean, that makes sense for like, the cleaning supplies and things like that that got tossed out. Yeah, that makes sense that that's the kind of things. And then all these medical supplies, obviously. And then this photo collection of all their nativity sets. So my guess is that the nativity sets were probably divvied up amongst family members, which absolutely appropriate. That's cool. But man, there was some really cool ones, you know? So one can't help but wonder and hope that um, the family enjoyed and appreciated them you know? But how cool is this? I've done this with other things where I, I've taken pictures of different collections that I have, stuff like that. That's really neat. Um, another idea is when you're trying to declutter and to not let all kind of stuff get on top of you, but things are special and they matter, but you can't hold on to them, take pictures of them. I've done that with things like that I had from childhood and stuff like that when I was doing the deep clean in the attic. And uh, I took pictures. So I at least still have the pictures and the memory, but not the physical items. And I'm gonna be doing more of that uh, this fall and winter. Anyway, pretty cool, pretty cool. It's uh, a little um, peek into someone's life. But that's dumpster diving. 
So here's Mimi with the skirt that we found Mimi in the bins. A book, like a flower, like in her hair. Yeah, and we're in front of the Disney tree that will soon be um, a flower tree. Yes, I'm gonna finally change it out, and we decided. Are you, are you gonna keep on the Rapunzel thing on there? Um, maybe. Like, um, flowers in her hair? Yeah, maybe. We decided that when we go to um, Disney World, Mimi and me, um, in October, that we'll have her wear this fun skirt from the bins. Yeah. Absolutely. We won't have Daddy's bike Can with you us. Tell who it's from? Yeah, who is it tell from? Us in the comments. Who is it from? We will be including this hair crown, not the big gold crown, but the hair crown with flowers in it to um, to uh, Disney Bound as Rapunzel. Rapunzel, and Mimi will be brushing her hair. <laughs> That's so perfect. You're so fabulous. Anyway, how perfect is that? From the bins, fabulous little skirt. Fabulous hair crown thing. Can you find both of them? Both yeah, ones? yeah. How cool is that? Thank you, dumpster diving. Did you so, find the same thing? no, no, because the skirt we just barely found. That was just this weekend. <laughs> How perfect! Dumpster diving and YouTube pays for this amazing trip that me and Mimi are going to take in October for our one on one, Mommy and Mimi. Yes. <laughs> but not only does it pay for the trip, it provides the costumes. Are you kidding? How cool is that? But the only things we'll need to buy is a purple shirt. Or some kind of Rapunzel shirt. Yeah. And um, like some skin color sandals. Something like that because yeah. Rapunzel doesn't wear shoes. Uh-uh. So we'll see. We'll figure something out. So stay tuned. Oh my goodness. We're coming up with something, huh? Yeah. But you and need a frying pan. pan. Oh yeah. <laughs> around a frying pan. And hey, we've found some in the bins. No, I'm just <laughs> we're not going to carry a real one, but we'll figure something out, huh? Yeah. We'll probably like make one. That would be like, fun, huh? Or have one on a necklace. Yeah. The ideas, the possibilities are endless. All right. Anyway, back to getting busy. Oh, then. Oh yeah. And remember... You know how um, people have like those little Mickeys on their, their shoulders? Yes. Well, I could have a little Pascal on my shoulder. You can have a little Pascal on one shoulder and a frying pan on the other. and 68 jumps in a row. Good grief. Well, you're amazing. A monkey and a tigger too. <laughs>